the, the Dominicans and put, them, put, them put them together. Put them together. Put them together. Put us in the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> exactly. and none of us are in the Eastern. <laughs> exactly. Because you know, Scotland abroad is only in the yeah. West. Exactly. Right. So, so let's, let's let's go back to the let's go back to the to the, the curse right. in the beginning where where it first originated. Right. Show you if you've forgotten, then let's go back there to refresh the memory. So, you know, what I'm saying, you know, there'll be no excuse. Was it 64, 2864? Yeah, yeah, read that. Uh, Deuteronomy 2864. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Right. So, but basically the point is, if you teach in the doctrine of the 12 tribes breakdown, you're going against those two scriptures we just read. Like these, uh, well, Gad is the North... American Indian, or North Central, or whatever you say. Reuben is, Reuben is a seminar. Oh, I forgot. So the Indians are even split. So the Most High scattered us, but he, or, well, I'm putting Gad over here, and I'm putting Reuben over here, and I'm putting Judah over here. So explain me when you say it's only uh, when the first scattering or the big scattering talk about before 70 AD in Jerusalem, right? Where it was just Levi and Judah, right? And Benjamin. And Benjamin, right? Where did this woman in Asher, from Asher, come from? <laughs> the second chapter. I thought they were neatly scattered all over the place. When you read the scripture where Christ was being presented, it says a woman from what? The tribe of Asher. But wait, wait a minute. I was taught that it was only Judah, Judah Benjamin, and Levi there. So scattering means scattered. That's what it means. And you know what? The Most High does things perfectly. So when he scattered us, he really scattered us. Exactly. So you got some of us shivering cold in Greenland and Iceland. You know what I mean? Because we all over the damn place because he said that was one of the curses for our disobedience. And we still got what? Continual disobedience to this day because people not teaching the proper doctrine. They teaching their own doctrine and claiming it's the gospel of Christ. Don't get sucked into that. Read the Bible for yourself. Let's get that real quick. Let's let's get that in Timothy. Two fifteen. Second or first? Second. Second Timothy two fifteen. I'll read. Okay. Second Timothy two verse fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Just like when I was coming to class, my brother used to tell me all the time, brother, you ain't coming to class to be a professional student. When you when you come to class, it's for you to learn, to study. So what? When you when it's your time to teach, and when you put in a situation where you gotta teach, because brothers ain't gonna be around you all the time. Mm -hmm. And you gotta what? If you say that what did the scripture say that that we uh, our profession that we that we profess among many people? Right. This is our profession. This is our livelihood. This is our life. Mm -hmm. So when we out there walking that example of Christ, people are gonna ask questions. How come you don't do this? How come you don't do that? How come you you know what I'm saying something about you that's different? Am I gonna hold up? Let me call this brother. He'll he'll explain it to you. <laughs> that's not that's not what we come here. That's not what you come to learn. You come to learn so you can what study to show thyself, meaning you yourself, approve unto the Most High, not to man. That's the one thing we try to prove to brothers how much I understand. Or when you brothers are in class, they try to answer all the questions, show how deep they are. Oh, brother, you deep, brother. You answering all the questions. You got the spirit on you. And then now what? There's, there's that catering to this brother because mm -hmm. it seems like he's the only one paying attention. He's mm -hmm. studying. So, but he's only doing it for himself because it's vain glory. Mm -hmm. And brothers, I'm pretty sure it goes on today because it went on back then. Brothers like to show up in front of brothers so they can show how deep they are. So brothers could be like, what? Acknowledge me. Me, right? Because I am deep, right? I am very knowledgeable of what a doctrine is to, or what my mind says this right. is. So that's what I'm gonna teach you. And you, to be. you would do that. I would drive all the way to New York, right? Be in class, answer questions, asking all the questions, then drive home and then kick my wife out the house because we got arguments. That's how simple it is. I'm deep. Get out. <laughs> no patience. No long suffering, no forbearance, no love of Christ at all. A brother, a brother offend you. Some small, he may say something real slick that, you know, like a joke, something that is an inside joke, and you may not take in the liking to it, and you call knock the cat out. Right. Brother, I did it because I didn't know Christ was black, brother. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what, what it's 
talk about, you know what I'm saying, if a brother offended you, go to that man one-on-one, -on -one, and, you know, if he repent, you up getting the brother. Right. But now, because, you know, you know, he from, he from, he from Judah, and I'm from Ephraim, and, you know, we don't like each other, you know, the blacks and Puerto Ricans, and, you know, because Judah top tribe, and, you know, most I did away with Ephraim because he's a silly dove, and he just went at it. So it's the foolishness. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So if you harping on that, if that's your whole base, if that's your foundation of what the scriptures is about, right. then what? I don't, you have no it's foundation. It's your doctrine. It's exactly. your doctrine. It's, it's no foundation. Exactly. That's why, as individuals, if you go and if you in these other churches and you listening to brothers, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with listening because that's how you decipher. That's how you learn from right and wrong. That's how you study to show thyself approved, a workman that needed not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So if a brother asks you a question, and there's nothing wrong that you don't know it, but you out there, you so proud, you're going to start freestyling the scriptures. Exactly. That's what we were taught, though. Remember, we were taught that when we were out teaching, we, if we didn't know, we had to wing it. Just, <laughs> just wing it. How wicked is that? Or start demeaning you like, brother, you don't know a damn thing. Where's your Shut beard down. at? Shut, where's your beard at? Then you start looking for the faults in the other person. Yeah. <laughs> because you don't know where your fringes. is. Well, see, you buying on the Sabbath. Well, you, ain't got all, you got all pants. You know, get a good scripture on the pants. And then you divert the attention from what? Yourself? Uh -huh. Because what? You're not showing yourself to be a... Because listen, if I don't know something, I don't know it. And I'm not ashamed to say, I'll let, brother, I'll get back to you. And if I, I don't understand it, then it's not meant for me to understand right now. I'm, but I'm going to deal with the basics right. as far as dealing with myself. You know what I mean? Because I, mm -hmm. I know I'm very quick to get angry or, you know, mm -hmm. quick to say something slick out my mouth. And it gets me in trouble. Right. So those are the things I'm more worried about than, well, you know why I yelled at you? Because... Christ is black, and I didn't know that. <laughs> and um, Ephraim was a silly dub in the Most High because we, we ran away in the battle. The Most High did away with us, so you know Ephraim was uh, you know Most High ain't really dealing with him like that because he chose Judah. He took his spirit. Yeah, because <laughs> Judah top tribe. What is this? <laughs> let, let me read this real quick because we write it down on time down like a minute and a half. I'm gonna read this Titus two. You said the topic of the class was who you following. Right. So if we following. Christ and his doctrine, this is what he did. Titus 2, I'm just going to read from verse 11. Okay. For the grace of, of the Most High that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. So now, that's it in a nutshell. We, Tiger Woods, why are you going to that clinic? You need to understand that your mind is something that you can control. You have to just put the right knowledge in it to control it. That's why this word teaches us that what? We should deny worldly lust. Getting a piece of uh, booty, if I can put it that way, to keep it clean, in that manner is worldly lust. If you're doing it with your wife, man, it's all good. We just read that in Hebrews. We just read it in Hebrews. That's what I said. That's the wisdom. Have at it. That's your wife. The bed is undefiled between married people. But whoremongers will be what? judge. That's why it's important that Christ is that grace that was brought. This is the doctrine that we should be dealing with. He taught us that we should what? Deny worldly lust and not be stupefied. That's what's happening. You're getting drunk with all these philosophies and these doctrines and you're not following the doctrine of Christ. So when we're supposed to deny the worldly lust and live soberly and righteously, that true image to live, that's the doctrine that we're supposed to be dealing with. <laughs> oh, okay. we are. Okay, because right. when we when we when we, when we when we make that the that found when we make that the foundation as far as Christ, uh -huh. then we don't have we ain't worried about color. We worried about I don't care how dark or black he is or how right. light he is. That's my brother. Right, exactly. And I'm gonna teach him. Right. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna treat him according to what the scriptures say. Right. And the fruits of the spirit. Having said that, we give all praises to the Most High, and we say shalom. Shalom. shalom.